My life has been very hard here in Ethiopia. I used to have a boyfriend here and I got pregnant. He doesn't want me to keep the baby. He wants me to abort the baby. I didn't agree with his idea. I want to keep the baby and he doesn't want the baby. My trouble starts from there. After I refused to abort the baby, he started bringing other women to our house and he would sleep with them in front of me. He took away my money and he wanted to kick me out of the house. I gave birth. After that, I was forced out of my home and I had to live on the street with my child. Usually during that night time, I stay with a stick since some drunkard and some people come and pee on us. Even some, they try to rape me. My child didn't get proper food for one year and it hampered his growth. Even for clothing, some neighbors, they give some diaper and clothing for my baby. When I see him now, I feel pity for him. At this age of him, he doesn't even take milk because of the effect of his childhood. Because I was desperate, it drove me to lie to try to get food for me and for my child. Life was so hard that I wanted to commit suicide, but I didn't because of my child. As a mother, I used to feel guilty because I couldn't offer him food, but because he was there, he was my source of strength. I tried my best to get a house. Finally, things began to turn around. Some people introduced me to Convoy of Hope. After passing through the selection criteria, I was provided with practical training how to prepare food, how to start business, how to calculate profit and loss. After that, I was provided with some money to start my business. I start my own business selling tea and coffee and food. Because of my business, I was able to start saving money for the new house, and it has two bedrooms. Now I'm very happy with my life. I can support myself and my child. I have no word to express my gratitude. Convoy of Hope have saved my child's life and mine. I'm very grateful.